Hey guys, it's me Lightning here and today in this video we're going to be doing a full review and my thoughts on Gotten of Band Band 2. I don't know if I pronounced it right, but in this video I'll be talking about obviously spoilers and literally everything about the game and saying my own honest opinion about the game and how it actually is without letting other people influence me at all. Don't know if I'll say the word right, probably messed it up, you know, who cares, let's, let's just go on to the video and let me talk. So, first of all, you all know Gotten of Ban Ban, the very first game, was definitely something to talk about. Like, you know, the first game felt very much like it was trying to be Poppy Playtime and it also tried to be different. Like, it was, it was about a school, not a toy factory, obviously, but it had the same mechanic, I mean, the same gameplay of, like, Fetch Quest doing stuff, kind of like that, you know, walking around, doing stuff, walking, whatever, whatever, whatever you want to call it. But I did say the first game was an okay game. It wasn't good, it wasn't bad. Bad. It was just okay in the middle. It could have been worse, but also it could have been better. You can see all the love and, uh, well, some love, I guess you could say, went into it. And the, mainly the thought that went into it. Not really, I guess, the love went into developing the thought of the idea. If you watch the dev vlogs, you know, they talk about like a peel of bird and its whole, the whole system about that. But this is about part two now. Let's go talk about that. First of all, I gotta give big props. Let's just talk about all the benefits first, and then let's go talk about all the bad stuff. Because we talk about benefits and you know good stuff, and then the bad stuff. So first of all, the game. I walked in there having zero expectations. I did not want to go in there expecting it to be a good game because if you go in there with zero expectations, you can always come out being better. You can always come out with better expectations because you went in there with none in the first place. Like, look at that big brain thinking I just did. But anywho, the very first game. I mean, this game here is a you know. A good length time if you do not know what you're doing and do not watch YouTube tutorials like I did it will take you roughly around one hour to 30 minutes to around one hour 40 minutes to play the game not knowing what to do but if you know what you could what you're doing I'm guessing 35 40 to even 45 at the maximum minutes for you to play like if you know exactly what you're doing you saw multiple YouTubers play like you never played it before but you saw many people play it's probably around 30 to 45 minutes. But when it comes to Gone Out of Band Band 1, it took around, I don't know, 12, 10 minutes, or even less when you know what you're doing. So you can definitely see there's a lot more content in the second game. So that's also one good thing. Another good thing is how it came out so fast. Like, you don't have to wait literally a whole year or six or something months until the next chapter comes out. Not not say anything bad about Poppy Playtime because, you know, time and dedication is everything. And that's one of the bad things that I'm going to be talking about later on. But Gone Out of Band Band took less than a month to get a second game. And I think that's some record time for what we got in the second game so you know with just a small dev team definitely congratulations to that now the next one here the next uh good positive is i guess i'm trying to like think of another one those are the main two ones that i mainly thought was the positives i guess another positive would be less no bugs like when i first played it the first playthrough experience and saw other people play it, and one thing i never heard of the game being bug free i never heard anyone saying yo that thing clipped in never heard anything like that it seemed like this game really polished and it was pretty good the first bug i said bon bon the first bon bon game literally came out like the same thing no bugs like that it's kind of the same thing happened to poppy playtime it came out with no bugs but then chapter two came out because it was kind of being rushed so that's the same thing i thought about this happened like got into band band one was kind of polished so you know when it comes to bugs not the actual environment i'll talk about that a little bit later on but got into band band two it was not rushed i don't think so well i could say one or two things may have been rushed but at the end of the day it felt like it had no bugs and you could run it smoothly and you know no bugs stopping you no bugs killing you no bugs making you restart so i definitely say that's another positive for the dev team now that's like mainly all the really good things i liked about it and also another thing is really the fun like there's a whole bunch of different var varieties of things you know like there's almost different things you could do many different mini games it's not over and over again like the, i thought the drone mechanic was gonna get a little bit boring but no you can still use the drone mechanic throughout the game and it uses it in different unique ways even introducing cannons in some parts and it was a good and unique way to mix things up without making it boring kind of like what the grab pack did in probably playtime chapter 2 and probably will do in chapter three so that was pretty good that's pretty unique and also they added a whole bunch of brand new characters voice lines just the voice lines might not have been the best actors out there i'm not saying they're bad they're good actors this is not the top tier actors you know you're thinking hollywood and stuff like that but the voice lines definitely brought life into the characters there's a lot of characters like you know um I don't know. What's the guy's name again? Ban Ban? That's not Bon Bono's Ban Ban. The dude, he, he came back and he was actually in the whole entire chapter. And also, the white version of him, I forgot the name, like Bonnet or Ban Ban. I have no idea how to pronounce that girl's name. Don't even know off the top of my head. Anyway, she 
it was a pretty interesting case with her own gameplay section of literally having the whole uh school section that was very unique i like how you have to use the different ver words and guess what the answer is with some silly little jokes here and there i did love that also the whole break time with the cool kids the bully kids and the weak newbie kids that was perfect i definitely do love that no other game did that before and that was cool even the drone got a timeout like it was just good and at the end at, at the end of the credits you could literally see the ball down saying you snitched on me it was just good i like that part and also parkour the parkour section wasn't as unique and special as i thought it would have been but it was parkour never really see parkour in a horror game even though i do think that's something someone should have been chasing you making it more tense but nobody was so that is pretty sad but now that's really all about also the also first of all, yeah the snail i like the snail the way his mechanic works he, he's cool he, he's unique anywho now let's go talk about the meh side about things you know not the good not the bad just in the middle in the middle will definitely be the annoying droid a uh, drone puzzles like you know the breaking glass ones that can't really connect to glass and also you know things like that it was pretty kind of annoying since the drone like i said is not as annoying as i thought it would have been but you know it's still a little bit like that another thing is is also the animation kind of of some uh sorry, of the characters like when they talk the mouth doesn't really move they can sit down and move around a little bit it kind of reminds me of true true charles characters if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about but i definitely wanted to see more i guess life in it and also another thing about it is ban ban like where is he uh, I mean, I mean, Jumbo Josh, not Ban Ban. That was another thing here, too. Jumbo Josh and Ban Ban literally had so less appearances. It was mainly just focusing on the other gang and introducing new characters like the spider blue guy. But like Ban Ban only popped up a couple of times, had I like what three to five minutes of voice lines and and also go jumbo josh the big green guy in the first character that i literally thought his name was garden or garden he literally did not pop up that much he only popped up at the end after getting you know destroyed i know this whole chapter or whatever it's called episode or other game don't know what they want to call it does not even have the much of him but definitely pretty sad but uh now let's go and talk about the bad you know the bad about the game so number one bad thing about the game is definitely the graphics and everything like that first of all don't get on don't get me wrong if a game has an amazing story it's able to grab me i do not care how the graphics look the graphics like we said are not everything it helps the experience out but the game can literally look trash and have an amazing story a game could look like just make it look like it has less attention to detail and be amazing so graphics are not everything but when it comes to this game obviously the graphics aren't that much when it comes to the animation is also kind of Eh, on the inside but it's only a two-team developer i think so you know not hating on them just saying things you know just eh, about the game and also really i guess the whole of how things happen it was like wow there's a whole kindergarten how is there a full-on like area below for a kindergarten a kindergarten is supposed to be a one building thing i know they have to make this story in the game interesting same thing with happened poppy playtime like how is this toy factory this big like like how is this daycare whatever it's called uh whatever what i what was it called again i totally forgot like, how is it this big and also why are there monsters here i know that's the question we'll be answering off but the game just definitely makes you a little bit more confused and also the real story is extremely short you can say it in like one or two sentences even though i have a full-on video planned about that but yeah when it also comes with it all the end of the day the game like all the characters just disappear never pop up again some of the gameplay stuff is this and eh, only takes a few seconds to go through like each uh, stage there's multiple stages in the game but it's just like one and two is just quick and easy and you know the game the biggest thing about this game too like is uh the ending too when you end the game you just go down an elevator exactly like in the first game the first chapter whatever you want to call that thing um it just fades to black and nothing. I was expecting a cutscene as I was playing. I wanted a cutscene, but then it gets fades to black and guess what it tells you? Go, wishless Garden of Ban Ban 3. And if you thought that was gonna be a shocker, no. The minute you start up the game, it tells you on the side, go wishless the third game when you just started the second game. You just download the second game and it already has a wishlist page. I mean, the Steam page. And it already has photos like okay i i'm really confused i know they're working fast but how fast are they working and i know with them working fast they're sacrificing some things like environment maybe some bits of the story it just feels like everything's just being pushed together to release it as fast as possible so the hype doesn't die down 
But if you have a very good game, the hype won't die down. People will have patience and wait. Like FNAF Security Breach and now Poppy Playtime. If you have a good story and a good game, people will wait for it to be good. We don't, you don't, you don't have to rush and like push it out. But also another thing about this game is right now the most biggest complaint is its price. If you thought it was going to be free, I was not expecting it to be free, but I was not expecting it to be, well, I was kind of expecting it to be this price, but it, it costs $5 to buy. Just to let you know, like I said, if you know what you're doing, the game is going to take you around, what, 30 to 45 minutes? And other games and like chapters, I know Bendy and Ink Machine Chapter 2 is like 5 bucks, and I know that's a lot shorter, I know it has less to do, but like that's a different time when chapter by chapter system was new, and now you can buy the whole game for 20 bucks and the other chapters had a lot more to it, that's a different case scenario. Um, first of all, $5. The game, like, the game story is very confusing. The game plays okay, like I said, too. But, like, I felt like it should have been, like, two bucks. I'm just saying. The game already has so much of a huge popularity, and I feel like, you know, it should have been two bucks. Like, I don't, th I don't think they ha hired any other dev team. It says the credits log was just them. So, like, you don't have any other bills to pay, no other, uh, what's going on, people to help pay, and, you know, to keep the game running you don't have to really do that so i felt like the game should have been cheaper i know it wasn't gonna cost money if it was for free it would have been amazing but I, I never i never thought it was gonna be free it was it crossed my mind but i was like it really can't be but yeah right now i seen that gone in a band band is again the second game i call it a i don't know it's mixed between good and bad i literally saw a tweet uh doing a tweet on twitter about to say I, I was thinking i was like debating on if it was a six out of ten or seven out of ten but i just gotta say right now it's a five out of ten in my opinion after thinking about it after playing it i mean after you know playing the full tower game i think it's a seven out of ten the length is okay it's a good length for the game not for the price i think it's uh, the price i think it should be a little bit longer and also since it's that short you can literally play the entire game not know what you're doing and still refund the game at the end of the day because if you downloaded or buy, bought the game within 14 days and play, played less than two hours steam will let you literally go and refund the game so, um, yeah, if the game is less than that time and also for that price, pe many people are going to be refunding it. So, um, yeah, that's my thoughts. Will I be refunding it? Right now, my question is unknown. At this point in time, I did not refund it, and I do think it's a good game. I don't think... Well, I think it's okay. Okay, that's the qu tricky thing I, I hear. When I first played the game, I think it was a, a good game at the end when I was done playing it. Now, I think it's an okay game. It's definitely better than the first game in any other way, and I'll still stick by that. It's a lot better than the other game. has a lot more to do than the first game, but it's expected because it's the second game. It did have a little twist with Ban Ban, but that was really all. So I definitely do think this game, it's a okay experience to play anywho i definitely do advise you guys to go watch people play because playing the game is just eh, you don't really have to play my opinion now tell me guys comment below what you guys do think about going to band band 2 and i right now i have the lowest hopes and lowest expectations for the third game because yeah they're trying to build up a story but the, it just feels like right now they're literally pushing the game out like the minute i heard about the third game that's made me feel a lot sadder. Like, the second game, I was like, maybe that could be the end. Maybe they're going to end the game there. But seeing the second game, I'm most likely getting a fourth game. I bet right now there's going to be a fourth game. I think the whole future of Band Band is just going to be uh, not good unless they up, you know, the quality, the production scale, up the story, up, you know, game plan, stuff like that. And also take a little bit more time on each chapter, or each game. Yeah, I think that would definitely be better. But let me know, guys, in the comments below what you guys think about the game. And also, I have a full no commentary and commentary play uh, playthrough of the game. First time playing it. So, um, yeah. Tell me in the comments below what you guys do think. And I'll see you all in the next video. Good. Bye.